As a product photographer, I've made three big mistakes throughout my career that have led me to leave tens of thousands of dollars on the table. These are mistakes that most product photographers are making inside of their businesses. And if you can fix these mistakes, I promise you that you'll increase your revenue inside your photography business. Now, these aren't the typical mistakes you hear like not using contracts or licensing or pricing hourly. No, these are mistakes that no one really talks about. This means that you have the potential to unlock way more cash flow inside of your creative business. Okay, mistake number one is focusing on just selling your photos. What do I mean by this? Well, we all have our photo packages that we try and pitch to clients, and this makes sense. We built out these packages in hopes of getting clients to buy them, right? We put together a high ticket offer and we've been pitching them to various clients, but oftentimes this isn't what clients are after. By the way, my name is Chris Pieta. I run a product photography company and teach creative business through my education company, Creative Biz Launch. Okay, so what do I mean by this first mistake? Well, oftentimes when we pitch clients photos, we're coming from a position of what we think they want. We've created these packages based off our market research. Speaking of packages, special shout out to all my Creative Biz Launch students watching who finished module three of the program and have created the perfect offer. Okay, so our packages include all sorts of things that we think clients want, but sometimes this isn't what the client actually needs. There's been times where I thought I was gonna sell a 10 photo package, but it turned out to be 30 photos. That's a pretty big bump in package size, right? Well, this came as no accident. The system I teach always has the photographer and the client hopping on a sales or discovery call before signing any type of proposal. On this call, it's up to the photographer to ask the client the right questions to actually figure out what their needs are. Is the goal to take 10 photos for the client or is the goal to help increase the revenue for the client? Clients want to work with you because they want to help their own businesses grow. They're hiring you to solve a specific problem. Let's expand more on mistake number one and provide a practical example to demonstrate the importance of truly understanding your client's needs. So imagine you have a potential client who you reached out to, then you set up a discovery call, and then you hopped on that call. Instead of just pitching your pre-made package, you get on the discovery call and dig deeper into their needs and goals. During this call, you ask questions like, what made you decide to get on the phone with me today? What issues are you facing from a marketing end? By asking questions like this, you learn that the client's product sales have been underperforming. They've been using the same images for a while now, and they're not getting the traction on their social media channels or their online store. Now, this information is crucial because it changes the conversation. It's no longer about just delivering 10 new photos from your pre-made package. Instead, the conversation is now about addressing their pain points and offering a comprehensive solution. In this situation, as a photographer, you can suggest a complete revamp of their visual content strategy. This might include creating ad creatives, new hero images for their website, and even developing a new social media strategy to better showcase their products. By understanding the client's real challenges, you can offer a more tailored solution that not only involves a larger photo package, but also additional services that address their specific needs. This approach positions you as a problem solver and an expert in your field, making it more likely for the client to choose you over your competitors. It's so important to be proactive at this stage of the client acquisition pipeline, and so few photographers do it. So many make the mistake of not actually learning the client's needs. It also allows you to create a proposal that genuinely addresses their needs, leading to a higher chance of closing the deal and making more money in the process. In summary, mistake number one is not truly understanding your client's needs and just trying to sell them on a pre-made package. To fix this, make sure you have a conversation with your client to uncover their real goals, pain points, and requirements. This way, you can create a tailored proposal that not only increases your revenue, but also results in happier, more satisfied clients who are more likely to return for future projects. Speaking of future projects, that leads me to mistake number two. Mistake number two is ending the client relationship after just one project. Now, this doesn't happen on purpose. This happens as a byproduct of the way a lot of photographers operate as a business. As creatives, we often get so caught up in finding new clients and moving on to the next project that we unintentionally forget to nurture and maintain client relationships with our current clients. This can lead to missed opportunities for repeat business, referrals, and client testimonials. Personally, most of my revenue comes from repeat business. One of my biggest clients started with a small $1,500 package, but in the years I've worked with them, I've made over $50,000 just from this one client. 50 grand from one client is not bad. And the reason behind this is simple. I made the effort to keep nurturing that client long after that initial project was over. 
but so many photographers neglect this part of the business. They feel good about delivering photos, so they don't think they need to keep nurturing the lead. So how do we fix this? The key is to implement a system for following up with clients after the project is completed. Here are a few steps you can take to ensure you're staying connected and maximizing the potential of each client relationship. Step one, follow up with a client after the project is complete. Check in to see how the photos are performing and if they've noticed any improvement in their sales or engagement. This shows that you care about their success and helps keep the lines of communication open. You're acting as their biggest fan and clients love to see that from their business partners. Because this client's success is directly tied to your success, if your photos are helping them make more sales, they'll want to work with you more. They'll see the value that you bring and they will pay you for that added revenue in their business. Number two, ask for a review or case study. If your client is happy with the result, ask if they'd be willing to provide a testimonial or participate in a case study. This can help you build social proof and be portrayed as an authority in your space. And not only does this help you, when clients think through their experiences with you, they'll hopefully feel positive about it. When they write that review, they will feel their decision to work with you be reinforced and they'll be much more likely to work with you again in the future. Number three, and this is a big one, make sure you're using a CRM to keep track of all these clients. With a CRM, you can actually automate how often you should be reaching out. Let's say after you finish a project, you add the client to a project done stage of your CRM. Well, there you can have a timer start so that in three weeks, you get an automatic reminder to follow up with that client project. Then you get another reminder two weeks later to ask for a review or a case study. By systemizing this process, you maximize your chances of success. By the way, if you need any help with things like a CRM or systemizing your business like this, I teach the exact framework for this inside of my paid program, Create a Biz Launch. We've got dozens of students inside there with success stories, and we're opening up for enrollment in just a couple weeks. It'll be a limited enrollment just like last time, so be sure to join the waitlist for Create a Biz Launch down below in the description. I can't wait to work with you on your creative business. All right, so by taking these steps, you're able to maintain and strengthen your relationships with clients. You'll increase the likelihood of repeat business and referrals. This not only helps you generate more revenue for your photography business, but also creates a strong foundation for long-term success. There's one big reason the client relationship might end that I haven't mentioned, and that's what brings me to mistake number three. First, I need to say something real quick. Thank you to everyone who's watched my videos over the past couple of years. This is going to be the last video inside the studio space. I'm moving into a new space pretty soon, and this current space is always gonna have a special place inside my heart. I started making videos in here when I had just 131 subscribers, and now we're at over 44,000. Thank you to everyone who supported me. It's hard for me to put into words just how grateful I truly am, so thank you. There's one big reason the client relationship might end that I haven't mentioned yet, and that's what brings me to mistake number three, a poor customer experience. Many photographers believe that delivering the best photos possible is their main responsibility. And while it's very true, it's not the only factor that influences a client's satisfaction. To ensure a successful and lasting relationship with your clients, you must also focus on other aspects of the customer experience. These include things like turnaround times. Make sure you set realistic expectations for when clients can expect to receive their finished photos. Stick to those deadlines and keep clients informed about the progress of their project. Nothing frustrates a client more than waiting longer than expected for their photos. You also have to be a great and fast communicator. Always respond to your client emails right away after you receive them. Be prompt and professional in your communication. You want the clients to feel heard and understood. It's also essential to have a great onboarding process. Make the process of working with you as seamless as possible. This means focusing on the pre-production process. Involve your clients in the steps before the shoot. This can include discussing concepts, locations, or any other elements that will contribute to the success of the project. By including your clients in the stage, you'll ensure that everyone is on the same page and that the final photos align with their expectations. By focusing on all these areas of customer experience, you'll not only improve client satisfaction, but also increase the likelihood of repeat business and referrals. Remember, your ultimate goal here as a product photographer is not just to deliver great photos, but to create a positive experience that leads to clients eager to work with you again. That's all I got today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the new studio.